KETK tonight at 10. Bob Burkeen continues his tour of East Texas wine country. From the vineyard to the tasting room, you'll see how this industry is flourishing. And we would like to see the wine industry, of course, get strong for Texans and for this industry. It's a good industry to be in, and we'd like to see Texas prosper. I'm Bob Burkeen. Join us tonight for a wine tour right here in East Texas. Watch East Texas wine country tonight at 10 on KETK 56, the news station. There's a new liquid gold quickly becoming synonymous with East Texas, and we're not talking about crude oil. Not at all, Bennett. We're talking about the wine, Bennett. Texas is climbing the ranks of wine-producing states, and the growing number of vineyards here are all hoping East Texas will soon be the new wine country. East Texas' fertile soil these days is budding more than majestic oaks. Fence posts that once seemed to sprout barbed wire lift a new harvest. According to the state's Wine Marketing Institute, Texas is outselling Australia, even France, in new wine sales growth. There's over 200 uh, vineyards in Texas. Texas is number five in the United States as far as grape and wine production. Fran Potash visits vineyards throughout East Texas and helps growers keep an eye on leaves and vines holding tiny buds targeted by disease and insects. Farming and everything is, is real fragile. It's, it's not something that uh, you have a lot of control over. Someone once said the most important thing a farmer can leave in his field are his footsteps. Pierre Duvet not only walks his vineyards, he too reads leaves looking for any sign of trouble so this sweet science won't die on the vine. His head is like a set of bellows in his head and he can actually pump it into here. Another grower, Scott Thompson, keeps one eye on leaves. Another on these insect traps for the glassy winged sharpshooter, an insect that can devastate an entire vineyard, a history lesson East Texas growers want no part of. A bit of a footnote here for some of you label snobs out there against Texas wines. A fellow by the name of T.B. Munson saved the entire French wine industry with Texas vines. In the late 19th century, France's vineyards were devastated by fungus and insects. The French needed vines hardy enough to withstand Mother Nature's onslaught. They came to Munson. He had, what, 15 wagonfuls of dormant vines going over to France. He's uh, said to have saved the French wine industry with Texas rootstocks. History lesson or no, many a converted label snob sing the praises of East Texas wines and vintages of our local wineries now bear the fruit of past competitions. In a town known for trade days, Savannah is making its mark as a first Monday's first winery. And like every other stop in our wine tour, Flo and Ed Pickett want visitors to experience not only their art of wine making, but appreciation of art in many different forms, including toe tap into a tune or two. Currently, visitors can select a number of other East Texas winery wares, but Savannah's brand's coming. You heard of seed money, this is seed wine. The pickets picked these berries, elderberries and blueberries locally here in East Texas to have a future vintage themselves. Another maybe month it'll be ready for bottling and then we'll decide how long we're going to let that age before we start drinking it. The pickets hope to graduate from the small batch to this thousand bottle vat by early fall and are confident time is on their side. All the small wineries had to start somewhere, and we have been in it two months now, so we're getting there. In the next few days, we'll tour this new wine country and meet the East Texans behind the vineyards, vats, and vintages. If you'd like to sample the fruits of East Texas or want to know more on this winery, simply log on to our website, click on the Learn More link, and join us tonight at 10. We continue our tour of more East Texas.